नमस्कार इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट वेलकम यू इन डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग द इंटेंस रेनफॉल स्पेल ओवर साउथ पेनसुलर इंडिया केरला कोस्टल कर्नाटका एंड घाट एरिया ऑफ साउथ इंटीरियर कर्नाटका इज लाइकली टू कंटिन्यू ड्यूरिंग नेक्स्ट टू थ्री डेज एंड रिड्यूस देयर आफ्टर If we look into today's today's synoptic systems, then we have a cyclonic circulation in lower and mid tropospheric levels over west central Bay of Bengal, adjoining North Andhra Pradesh coast, and a shear zone is running across this uh, uh, cyclonic circulation, roughly along 15 degree of latitude in the middle and upper tropospheric levels, and this shear zone is likely to move slightly uh, northwards during next two to three days. and also there is a cyclonic circulation over south gujarat region and neighborhood and offshore trough from south gujarat to north kerala is quite active so under the influence of these synoptic features over kerala if we look into the district wise rainfall warning over kerala then today there is likelihood of uh, extremely heavy rainfall more, uh, more than 20 cm rainfall over kasargod kannur and idukki districts and over the districts of vayanad kozhikod mallapuram पलक्कड त्रिशूर एर्नाकुलम अलपूजा कोटयम एंड पथन पथनम थिट्टा एंड कोल्लम एंड त्रिवेंद्रम देयर इज लाइकलीहुड ऑफ हैवी टू वेरी हैवी रेनफॉल द रेनफॉल बिटवीन 11 टू 20 सेंटीमीटर एंड टुमारो दिस रेनफॉल इज स्लाइटली टू डिक्रीज एज द शियर जोन वुड बी हैविंग अ स्लाइट नॉर्थवर्ड शिफ्ट बाय टुमारो बट द हैवी टू वेरी हैवी रेनफॉल ओवर कासरगोड कन्नूर वायनाड कोजिकोड मल्लपुरम पलक्कड त्रिशूर अर्नाकुलम Uh, Idukki, Kottayam, uh, Alapuja, and uh, and uh, uh, Pathanam Thitta would continue. And on day three, as we can see that the uh, with the further shift, northward shift of the shear zone, the rainfall belt over Kerala would further shift into the extreme most four districts of Kasaragod, Kannur, uh, Kozhikode, and Mallapuram. And then there would be only on day four and day five, on seventh and eighth of July, there would be only the possibility of isolated heavy rainfall over the. north kerala districts and now uh, if we look into the konkan uh, konkan uh, coast that is maharashtra coast and the adjoining areas of uh, the ghat areas of madhya maharashtra then today there is likelihood of uh, heavy to very heavy rainfall 11 to 20 cm rainfall over uh, raigad pune ratnagiri satara sindhudurg and kolhapur and isolated heavy rainfall likelihood is there over mumbai and tomorrow as uh, with the shift of the uh, Uh, shear zone uh, northward shift and the uh, further uh, uh, strengthening of the offshore trough the rainfall intensity over the uh, districts of uh, uh, districts of raigad pune ratnagiri satara kolhapur and sindhudurg would, would increase from heavy to very heavy rainfall to extremely heavy rainfall uh, that is the more than 20 cm rainfall and over over mumbai the uh, Uh, rainfall intensity is likely to further increase to from heavy rainfall today to isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall tomorrow uh, with the isolated heavy rainfall likelihood over palgar and on day 3 this uh, uh, isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall with extremely heavy rainfall uh, would continue over the districts of uh, raigad pune Uh, ratnagiri satara kolhapur and sindhudurg at isolated places whereas over uh, mumbai isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall and thane and palghar isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall would continue on day 4 this uh, 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 rainfall intensity would decrease over the districts of uh, raigad pune ratnagiri uh, satara from extremely heavy falls Uh, on day 3 to uh, isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall and isolated heavy rainfall over mumbai and thane and isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall likelihood would be there over palgar and nasik and on uh, as we can see on 8th of july uh, this uh, again this uh, isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall uh, uh, zone would be over palgar pune raigad and ratnagiri and isolated heavy rainfall would be over thane satara and sindhudurg and uh, there is only moderate uh, Uh, moderate rainfall likelihood over uh, over mumbai now uh, as the monsoon trough today is uh, running to the uh, its its eastern end is running to the south of its normal position and the monsoon trough is today passing from ganganagar to delhi to aligarh and then to hamirpur and from uh, from hamirpur it is uh, going into uh, dalton ganj of jharkhand and then to uh, Udi, uh, balasore of north odisha and then towards the cyclonic circulation over west central bay of bengal 
and since this eastern end of the of the monsoon trough is active so we are likely to receive isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall over the uh, balrampur siddharth nagar gonda and basti districts of uh, uh, northern parts of uh, uh, eastern uttar pradesh and also fatehpur kaushambi prayagraj uh, uh, Banda and Chitrapu districts of uh, southern parts of uh, eastern Uttar Pradesh and rest uh, districts which are shown here by yellow color are likely to receive isolated heavy rainfall. And then tomorrow again the this uh, uh, isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall districts would be uh, shifting uh, uh, totally to the uh, southern parts of the eastern Uttar, Uttar Pradesh and uh, Raibareli, Pratapgarh, Fatehpur, Kaushambi, Chitrakoot, uh, Mirjapur, Chandoli and Sonbhadra are likely to uh, would be likely to receive uh, isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall and the district uh, shown in the yellow color from Siddharth Nagar and uh, uh, Maharaj, Gand, uh, Maharaj Ganj and Kushi Nagar and up to uh, Jhansi, Lalitpur and Mahoba and Hamirpur and Jalon, the districts of the Bundelkhand region would be likely to receive the uh, isolated heavy rainfall. So uh, this was the district level warning about uh, these uh, uh, Maharashtra and Kerala and, and Uttar Pradesh, except this, uh, if you look into uh, the western Himalayan region, then isolated heavy rainfall is likely over uh, Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand during next five days. And also the rainfall activity over northwest India is likely to increase from uh, 6th of July when Punjab and Haryana and West UP are likely to receive isolated heavy rainfall from, from 6th of July up to 8th of July. And also uh, central Indian states of Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Vidarbha. Uh, are likely to uh, are likely to uh, uh, see enhanced rainfall activity from tomorrow the 5th of july uh, up to up to 7th of july with uh, uh, scattered to fairly widespread uh, rainfall light to moderate rainfall with isolated heavy rainfall over these regions and due to this uh, uh, the uh, the the very heavy and extremely heavy rainfall uh, warnings over the given given uh, districts of the country there is likelihood of localized flooding and there is a likelihood of occasional reduction in visibility disruption of traffic in major cities due to the water log uh, water logging of uh, uh, roads and minor damage to kacha roads and possibilities of uh, damage to the vulnerable structures and also the landslides and mudslides are likely in the hilly areas and uh, damage to standing crops horticulture crops are also likely and for this uh, we, we suggest that uh, please uh, avoid staying in the vulnerable structure and check for traffic congestion uh, before uh, leaving to any location uh, location in the given heavy rainfall warning districts so that's all for today. Tomorrow we will again meet with Delhi weather briefing for weather warning during next five days. Thank you and goodbye.